in most newspapers on July the 1st, 2012, it was published how the top hierarchy of the Swiss SVP Nazi party of the notorious Nazi Templars of Switzerland expressed themselves publicly on the internet about other human beings. I quote, the Nazi politician Beat Mosiman from the canton of Zolotun writes on his website that asylum seekers are bugs that should be disposed of through mass executions by the army's firing squads. That immigrants should be finished off in Swiss concentration camps with a thousand calories of daily food only. That Africans are economically useless, strong pigmented ones. The helicopter attack should be used on immigrants who form a tsunami. Here you can read it all. Just put on pause and you can read it. This is going on in Switzerland. The situation is very, very bad. I hear the Nazi even says they want to dispose of Muslims and that they are bugs and that the uh, asylum seekers are like a tsunami. It should be added though that a tsunami kills and that therefore these poor people who escape wars and misery are being defined by the Swiss Nazi Templars as killers. So here we see a situation in which Swiss Templar banks finance Arab, African and Asian dictators who rob the people blind and offer a safe haven for the stolen wealth at the Swiss banks. And when the victims of the Swiss banksters, in collaboration with murdering dictators, desperately knock on the door of the origin of their immense suffering, then Switzerland, the mother of all evil, gets mean and violent and even try to expose the victims of Swiss evil to the world as subhumans in all facets of the word. So here we can read it again. So there he is, he's um, uh, behind, there's, there's the Nazi who, who wrote all these things. He's standing behind on the top. And they are protecting the Swiss Nazi Führer, Mr. Christoph Blocher. You can see him here, that's the big Nazi Führer, together with Mr. Brunner. Well, wasn't there a Brunner as a, uh, a camp commandant in the, uh, in the concentration camp? I think there was, his name was... Alois Brunner. So Beat Mosiman says that Muslims are bugs that should be exposed of and Alexander Muller makes an appeal for violence and urges a national crystal night against mosques just as the Nazis burn all synagogues. Hermann Ley even has a website by the name of Adolf-Hitler.ch these three Nazi leaders are close friends to the notorious Swiss Nazi Führer Blocher and Tony Brunner. There we go. You can all read that here. The Swiss Nazi Beat Mosiman owns a security company called BMP Security, enabling him to be close friends with the Swiss Nazi police and the Swiss Nazi Justice Department, who of course don't do a thing against this, as all key positions in Swiss society are being occupied by members of the Swiss SVP Nazi Party. And of course these Nazis blame it all on the Jews again as they did in 1923 when they financed Adolf Hitler in order to get rid of the Jews and the biggest competition to, Swiss, to the Swiss Templar banks. I already told you in one of my other videos that when an entire country represents foreigners and other ethnic minority as black sheep, rats, crows and all sorts of animals in the streets and media then far more worse things are being prepared for 
or already happen behind the screens. Well, we can see it happening now. So please somebody do something before it's too late. And please somebody, someone help and stop the incessant terror already going on for 15 years by the Swiss Nazi, Nazi state of Switzerland on me and my family. Here's another witness of the well-organized Swiss Nazi terror, where the Swiss Nazi Templar police tells me to leave Switzerland and abandon my wife and children. What authority does a policeman have to say these criminal things, thus expressing the terror which is inhibited in the Swiss national conscience? A couple of months later, this uh, aggressive policeman, he got shot. So thank God he's not there anymore to hurt any other people again. There we can see Mr. Rudolf Kuni. He was a corrupt, lying, aggressive and very dangerous policeman. I mean all key positions in the Swiss society are being occupied by the SVP Nazis. And he's one of them. Here we can read it in French how the Swiss Nazis do an appeal for violence, murder, mass executions and um, uh, racism, killing other people. So it, uh, here's in French, yeah? so it needs a military intervention by the Allies and the international community because Swiss Nazism has an enormous influence on the international world of Nazis. Swiss Nazism is very different and far more sophisticated due to its hidden character than German Nazism is. This is how Swiss Nazism survived World War II because in fact Swiss Nazism originates from the organization of the Templars. Here we can read it all. I mean this is what they want to do. This is what they openly say. And again, all key positions in the Swiss society as police and justice department are occupied by these Nazis. And they do terrorize and kill and torture. So see the Pharaoh show for more. I hope that God watches YouTube. Because an estimated 4 million Swiss are ready to build concentration camps and extinguish real human beings and their children in there as we just could have read. And the cowards are just waiting for the right moment, the moment on which the world doesn't look. Well, the Germans won't do it for them this time. So the Swiss can't keep it inside anymore, eagerly awaiting the happy moment of releasing their inhibited hatred for the world. So in the meantime, they tortured and murdered and terrorized a whole lot of immigrants in Swiss torture detention centers. Please world, don't look away this time. So here he is, Mr. Blocher. He's the uh, the famous Swiss Nazi Führer. And here we can read it all in French. Or what the Swiss are planning. Well, it doesn't look good. I hope God is watching YouTube.